Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Corin Brad, and um, I've spoken before about the little brother ink-free mini printer, the VC500W, which is a, a portable personal printer. And it's great for printing out photographs, labels. You know, you can use it as a photo booth at a wedding. You can use it to label up your office or your craft supplies. But what I want to show you today is how easy it is to take a photograph that you've seen on something like Pinterest. You love that idea and you want to make sure you don't forget it because I'm trying to stay off my phone quite a lot now and I find it's much nicer to have a visual record that you don't have to turn your phone on to access. So we all have a scrapbook. This is a simple line notebook which is full of ideas. Now this is ideas for my new kitchen. The colour scheme that I want, things I can make for it, fabrics I can make with it. This beautiful fox by Hannah Bullen Reiner, which I found on Pinterest that I can't recreate perfectly, but I, lo I love the look of it. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can quite simply use the software on your phone, or you can put it on a laptop or a tablet and you can create a label. So I've saved some ideas from Pinterest that I like already. I'm starting a new label. So if we put an image in here, and I really like this pyrography chopping board from Art Fairy. It's one of these things, this is one of these things I've got to do. So much so I've actually bought a pyrography machine, but that's a whole different video. Um, so I need to crop this because I just want to take it down to a square picture. I'm now going to move it up in my design space. Let's just make that a little bit smaller so I can see what I'm doing. And we'll just enlarge it to 50 centimetres square. Or actually, it's not quite 50 centimetres square. I'm just going to cheat and um, bring that down a little tiny bit. The cartridge that I'm using in this Brother VC500W is the 50 centimetre wide cartridge. Did I say 50 centimetre? Don't mean 50 centimetre at all. 50 millimetre. So you can get a 25 millimetre or a 19 millimetre, which is great for labelling projects. And now I've got my image on here. Before I hit print, the handy thing about connecting up your phone to your label printer is just up here, it will tell you how much you've got left on your cartridge. Now I think they're five metre cartridges. Um, I've got, by the look of it, one and a half metres left on here. So now I can just print this. And my label printer springs to life. The technology in the cartridge is its heat activated crystals that change the colour of things. So when you take it out of your printer, it's completely smudge free, completely dry. And then you can just peel it off and pop it in your scrapbook with a little bit of annotation. And you can keep adding to your scrapbook. And also when you've made an idea and you've got another idea that you want to do, the labels will peel off without leaving any residue and without ripping your paper. And that label's been on there a good five or six days, so it's not a case of it's, you know, it will only work if you pull it off an hour later. So there's all kind of bits that you can do. You've got somebody's wedding coming up. You can find yourself an image of um, a beautiful table. Crop it down. This is a table arrangement from Festive Brides. Crop it down. Pop it into the corner of your screen and stretch it out. And then just print. And these are ideas for uh, Jessie's rainbow themed wedding. She's asked me to make several crepe paper headdresses. And sometimes all you need is a little bit of a hint to 
you know, you'd look at this collection of paper flowers in a card and you can translate that into another idea for perhaps a table setting. And add it to your scrapbook. Now I've got a page here that I've started, which is going to be for Christmas gift ideas. So if we just get rid of all that and we go for a new label, there's various things on the software for you to do labeling for your handmade crafts, for business, for events. So let's go with something like this one here. This happy birthday to Erica. Now, I don't want it to say happy birthday, so I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to take Erica out, I'm afraid, and I'm going to take the parcel out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave myself with um, a design that I can change the background of. Oh, it's a little bit too heavy for this. Let's go with what I had up the top there and OK it. And then I'm just going to add some text. Um, gift ideas. So that's done. I'm going to put it in a nice font. I'm going to make it a shadow font and then I'm going to enlarge it, not quite that much. Move it over a little bit. I'm going to change the colour of it to something more in keeping with the label. That's quite nice. And then when I'm happy with that, I'm going to check it's 50 centimetres deep. I'm actually going to just move that across a little bit so it's in the background. And then I'm going to change the size of it so that it is only 50 centimetres wide means I will have to move my flowers oh right over to the middle there and make my gift ideas a little bit smaller That will do. And then we'll just print. And then simply peel your label off and pop it on your pre made tear in your scrapbook so that you can easily find the ideas that you want. So the machine, the VC500W, is so much more than just a label printer. You know, you can design your own labels, you can design your own pictures, you can use it to print photos straight from your camera phone, you can use it to print photos from ideas that you've seen online. I tend to run it off my phone because it's much quicker and easier. But if you're, uh, if there's things that you want to really make sure that the design is perfect and you're not, you know, I've got quite chubby fingers. Sometimes it takes me ages to actually reduce the photograph. If you put the software onto your laptop or your um, tablet, there are other options in there for you to make other labels. And if your Wi-Fi connection is not brilliant at home, you can just connect your laptop up to your printer with a USB, uh, USB cable, which is down here. So the process of getting the, the image from your computer to your printer is really quick. 
So I hope you like that idea. And I hope that you like making scrapbooks. I mean, it's one of those things you can add fabric swatches, yarn swatches, paper designs, you know, crepe colours. And it's a source, a continual source of inspiration for you without you having to go online and pick your phone up. Um, and also you can keep it. It's a great, you can almost use it as a journal. I'll put some information in the description below about the printer. Um, but uh, it's one of those things, the more I use it, that the happier I am with the results that I'm getting and with what I can achieve with it. That's all for now. Please come and see us again very, very soon. And in the meantime, keep safe, keep crafting, and thank you for watching. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.